Hello everyone, this is Robert Scribbler. I'm going to make a brief video to give you guys an idea of what's going on in the Arctic right now. Um, so what's happening is that the high Arctic is experiencing or presently experiencing above freezing temperatures. And this is rather abnormal for this time in May. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to go ahead and run the forecast to give you an idea what the global forecast system model expects to occur over the next 10 days. And to, not to put a too fine a point on it, it, it appears that the Arctic is going to be uh, much warmer than normal during at least early to mid-May. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So we see this warm air invasion that's proceeding and it just continues to dig in for a, wh for a while. Now, by about May 9, the above freezing temperatures get flushed out of the high Arctic for a brief period of time, but the border zone sees more warm air invasions. And then, once again, by May 12, we begin to see another set of incursions. And so this is odd because, well, this is kind of a pattern that we've been seeing in winter recently, where energy transfer runs into the high Arctic, and you have southerly latitudes that are colder but this pattern appears to be extending into spring. So notice you have above freezing temperatures up here in the high north and colder than freezing temperatures down here in Canada and in Greenland and Siberia. It just the video just flipped again. You can you notice that that upside down weather and the the primary cause for that is that the oceans are pulling in a lot of heat from human force global warming and and the arctic itself the the high arctic sits atop the the ocean system and so this region is is more susceptible to um that heat influx it's just it's basically sitting on a, a warmer and warmer ocean system and so the ice there is under increased stress. And when it's warmer in the high Arctic, it tends to push the cold further south. And so you end up with this almost donut where there's heat in the middle and there's cold along the outside here in this region. Um, so it's, I just wanna emphasize that, that seeing this kind of pattern in May is a bit odd and it could be a setup to um, a rather strong melt season if we see this abnormal warming continuing, continuing over the Arctic Ocean through May and into June. Uh, what we could see is that May and June become months in which above freezing temperatures for this region are more prevalent and so you would end up with a four or five month period in which you're seeing um, sea ice melt in this region rather than a, a, a two to three month period. We're not yet at that point where we can conclusively say that's what's happening, but this is what the trend looks like. 